What's going on YouTube, GSNow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep your jailbroken device running fast and clean. And in order to do that, we're going to use a couple of tools. Now, no matter what jailbreak you use, iOS 14, iOS 13, and so on, all jailbreaks are affected by files that are created on the system. Now, the best way to see files is with files app. So if you actually download it and install it on your jailbreak, you can see all the files being created. But going ahead and deleting files manually, and I mean here temporary files or databases and so on, is actually a pretty bad idea. Some of the things that you delete may be important for the system. So the best way to actually clean your jailbroken device is to use actual special tools that do that. Now, why would you even need to clean it in the first place? Well, as I said, no matter if you use the check crane or, you know, Uncover or Odyssey or Pengu and so on, by using your jailbreak and installing tweaks from Cydia once in a while, you actually create a lot of temporary files and that's normal. Not every tweak is created equal and not every tweak is created well. Some of them are amateur tweaks that may work and may actually do what they are supposed to do, but they may do it in a very cumbersome way that would actually create a ton of waste a ton of files that are not needed and at that point they accumulate and your device may start working slow or it may start being buggy. Now of course these files can also cost you in terms of storage and oftentimes you know that you have problems with your jailbreak when you navigate to the iPhone or iPad storage in here and the storage is actually full but you have no idea with what because it's not the applications like is my case in here as this section here called system or other. You can see that other is occupying 3.32 gigs but good Good luck finding out who is other from the section and at the same time the system is occupying 6 gigs 23 but I have no idea what part of system is that big. So usually the waste created by the jailbreak or by the tweaks rather is actually being represented in there either on the system or other. So the best way to clean it at first is not to use files. Please do not use files to clean your jailbreak. Don't delete files that you think are not useful because you may break something. There is actually an application. Many of you who've been jailbreaking for a while probably know it but if you're new to the jailbreak community you probably don't know it and it's called iCleaner. Now the iCleaner is totally free there is also a paid version without ads but really the free one would suffice and this one is a utility that works under your jailbreak you get it from Cydia you search for it here on the Cydia you search iCleaner so iCleaner and you get it and is this one in here so basically it's from Big Boss. Now compared to the App Store applications which you can sometimes find which claim to be able to clean your system this one is actually legit those are fake because the applications from the app store that you download with your user account from here are never going to be able to delete files from your system they simply don't have that access because they are limited but iCleaner does iCleaner because it runs under a jailbreak has access to all the system and it can actually delete and find log files caches temporary files unused dependencies and statistics and any other kind of file that shouldn't be there and that is occupying your space without a reason. So what you need to do is to press analyze in here and this will start the scanning of all the system and it will tell you how much garbage there is on your system that can be freed. So you can see it takes a while, don't worry, it won't take too long and you will get a full log, a full list with everything that should be deleted from your system. So as you can see the log has been created and holy hell, you can see that there are a lot of files in here that should be deleted, in fact many 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 files, so these should all be deleted and deleting them does no bad but it does free a lot of space from the device making the jailbreak and the device itself work Better. So you should definitely attempt to clean your device from time to time. So you can see there's a lot of garbage files on this device and if you check yours you will probably find at least as many. So we press X in here and we press clean and at this point it will start cleaning everything. This should definitely give you some more space, maybe not a lot of space, but at least you don't have a ton of temporary files and a ton of garbage piling up on your device. And another good way to actually prevent damaging your device is to only install tweaks that are confirmed work on your version. There we go, the cleaning has been completed. So if you're jailbroken with the check rain, for example, you are jailbroken on 14.4, 14.3, 14.2, you should make sure that the tweaks you install are indeed compatible. And you can do that very easily with a tweak called Tweak Compatible, which actually provides you information from other users who have installed that. So you find it the same way you search for it here on the Cydia. It's called Tweak Compatible. It's this one in here. And once you get it, you can see statuses for various tweaks 
tweaks. For example, Snowboard, you can see here various reviews for Snowboard and various versions. So 1.2.25 Beta 1 is indeed compatible with iOS 11 and other versions and stuff like that. Some of them may not be updated for the latest version, but this is a pretty good tool in order to tell you what is compatible with your device. But yeah, iCleaner, the free version, should definitely be kept on your arsenal if you want to keep your device in check. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.